The space and ability to think are key requirements for any leader wanting to be and stay effective. Most executives tell me that their thinking capacity is continuously under pressure when they enter their office space. Urgent decision making, daily operations, people struggles and problem solving take over their brain space once they enter their leadership arena and negatively influence their capacity to zoom out, collect data and synthesize. Looking at this phenomenon from a neuroscience perspective makes it easy to understand. The human nervous system is on by default. Our heart needs to beat and we need to breathe and discover existential threats early on to survive. Just look at young children and their high energy and attention levels and you'll see an obvious example of this on Ness. Most people in powerful, ambition-driven roles have nervous systems that tend to be more aroused than average. The two hormones in the brain primarily responsible for this arousal are dopamine and adrenaline. Dopamine is related to anything that drives feelings of reward e.g., solving a problem and moving on, adrenaline is related to alertness e.g., learning something new or being in an emotionally heated debate. To sustain their ability to think, a leader needs to make a conscious effort to bring down and calm the natural onness of the nervous system. Looking at this conscious effort from a neuroscience perspective again, first, the primary part of the brain that allows us to zoom out, envision alternative potential strategies and possibilities and adapt to different contexts. In other words, think strategically, is the prefrontal cortex, specifically the left dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. It is connected and has access to most functions and parts of the brain, including memories, bodily signals, heart rate and breathing. Through a complex interplay with other brain areas, the left dorsolateral prefrontal cortex is key for strategic thinking.